Question 8, mathematics. If f of x equal to 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 8x plus 3, and f of 1 equal to 0, solve f of x equal to 0 completely. Now, this question is a polynomial, and this is cubic polynomial, that is, cubic expression. Now, they have given us that f of 1 equal to 0. What does that mean? Anytime we substitute 1 for x in this expression, our result will be 0. That simply means that 1 is a 0 of this polynomial. That is, 1 is a root of the equation that this polynomial will give. So, now that means x equal to 1 is a root. Now, if I bring x to this side, if I bring the 1 to this side, that means I will have x minus 1 equal to 0. Now, I can use x minus 1 to divide this polynomial using long division. But I don't want, just, I don't want to use long division here. There is another kind of division that we can use that will be faster, which is synthetic division. We can always use synthetic division here. Form a table like this. Put the coefficient of your polynomials inside this place. What's the first coefficient? 2. What's the second coefficient? Plus 3. What's the third coefficient? Minus 8. What's the last coefficient? Plus 3. I can remove the plus, but minus, I can't neglect it. Now, x equal to 1 is what they substitute to get 0, which is the root of d. I will now use x equal to 1 to deal with this. First of all, I will drop this first two. Dropping the first two, I will have this. Multiply this two by one. That's two times one. That will give me two. Add this and this together. That will give me what? Five. Multiply this five by this one. That will give me five again. Add this and this together. You have minus, minus five plus, minus eight plus five. That will give me minus 3. Now, multiply this by this. That will give me minus 3. Add this and this together. 3 minus 3. That will give me 0. This final result that we have here that is equal to 0 indicates that x equal to 1 truly satisfy the polynomial or the expression. Now, from here, we are having 2, 5, minus 3 as the new coefficient. That means the next... Okay, sorry... The previous polynomial before cubic polynomial is quadratic. That is x raised to power 2. That is the smaller polynomial before this one. The next after this is x raised to power 4. Now, we now use this coefficient to form a polynomial of degree 2. That is the degree immediately before degree 3. So, I will now have, the, we have this as 2x to the power of 2 plus 5x to the power of 1, which can still be that. Then, minus 3, all equal to 0. All equal to 0. Don't forget that x equal to 1 is one of the roots already. We now need this to get the new roots. So now, how can we solve quadratic fast, fast, without wasting much time? Multiply this and this together. That's 2 times minus 3. Okay, let's do that one somewhere. 2 times minus 3. That will give me minus 6. Now, instead of wasting your time too much, just find what you can multiply together. Or just rewrite the factors of 6. Write the factors of 6, the factor pairs. 6 is the same thing as 1 times 6 or 2 times 3. We can't have more than that. Now, out of these pairs, 1 and 2, 1 and 6, and uh, 2 and 3. Which one can we achieve 5 from it? Both of them, of course, both of them will give us 5. But which one will give us negative? Which one is going to give us negative 6 and uh, positive 5? So don't bother yourself again. Anytime the middle is positive and the last is negative, just know that the bigger number that you are using here must be positive, and the smaller number that you are using here must be negative. Let's now see if we use 
positive 1 and negative 6. Are we going to have plus 5? No, this doesn't work. Sorry, the, positive, the bigger number must be positive, I mean. Plus 6 and minus 1. Will it work? That will give me 5. Of course. But this one cannot work. So that means 1 and 6 will work for this question. So I will just open a bracket for x minus the smaller one, which is 1, and divided by this original 2. Bracket x again plus the second one, which is 6, divided by this original 2. So everything equal to 0. So instead of wasting your time, just say x equal to move this to the other side you have one over two or x equal to move this turn the sign of this to minus that's minus six over two which is the same thing as minus three therefore all of the roots that we need are going to be x we already have x equal to one comma the second one is one over two and the third one is minus three let's see which option satisfy option d satisfy our answer. Thank you.